Okay, all good viewers and listeners in, and welcome to my net space. I'm Old Cyril, and like all old people, I have much wisdom to impart. Today I'll be showing you the fastest way to earn credits and level up your horde classes in Gears of War 4. And before any of you shit fucks out there say, there's already a bunch of YouTubes about this. Those videos were made by young people, which inherently means they're wrong. While they may have got the basics right, their methods require you to have some skill. But if you had skill, why would you be on your video scope searching for help in the first place? The first thing you need to do is buy the horde bounty called Kills 2. It only costs 40 scrap. Even my welfare case great-grandson can afford that. Now create a private horde match. Don't be one of those cocksuckers who quit public horde as soon as they get their bounty. Everyone knows public horde is for people with no friends. And if you quit out of their game, you're increasing their risk of suicide. The next step is the most important, and it's what the other YouTubes got wrong. Pick the Scout class! Oh, so All the other classes require you to have some skill in order to survive. But with the increased health perk equipped, the Scout is nearly unkillable in the first 10 waves, and that's all you'll need. Besides, the nature of Horde is chaotic, and with the frequent glitches, like missing audio on the boom shot, there's often no sign that you're about to get one hit KO'd. But the Scout, with the easily obtained third tier health skill, will laugh this off, allowing you to be much more aggressive and finish your waves much quicker. It also makes the bosses much easier as you don't need to worry about the Snickerdoodle's one-shot tail attack or the Bruja's rockets. Indeed, to attempt this with any other clash is to risk wasting valuable grinding time. No, you idiot! I said grinding! Grinding! The map is less important when playing as a scout, but I'm partial to checkout since it's the smallest and usually the quickest. Or maybe it's because I need to get a prescription filled for my kidney medication today. Anyway, once you're in the game, grab the overkill shotgun as soon as possible. It's dropped by the Reuter chappies that start spawning on wave two or three. And as you young people would say, it wrecks house. Unlike other shotguns in the series and most games, it has surprisingly long range. But avoid the temptation to fire it all willy-nilly. It's more effective when fired moderately. This is where an upgraded scout class will really breeze through the waves. If you have enough slots unlocked, I recommend taking the Health, Recovery, Shotgun Damage, and Rage skills for maximum durability. The only thing you really have to worry about are those fucking Locust or Swarm or whatever the fuck they're called now. They've got more one-hit kill options than all the bosses combined. Oh! This method should take between 25 and 30 minutes and you'll get the bounty sometime during the 10th wave. Make sure you finish the wave though for maximum results. The amount of credits received will depend largely upon your current level. Playing on my level 47 character, every 30 minutes I leveled up 4 times and received around 650 credits including the 500 credit bonus paid every fifth level. The results are far more dramatic on lower level characters. With my idiot nephew's account, I went from level 1 to 14 
and amassed over 1100 credits in just 30 minutes. Unfortunately, my video scope didn't record the reward breakdown, but here's the results from the next time I ran the bounty. 8 levels, 1100 credits, plus a horde class level. Wow, that's a lot of XP. It's almost mesmerizing. Oh, we'll throw. We'll throw. Wake up. Uh, what? What? Oh, why'd you wake me? I was having the best dream. I was fucking Estelle Getty. The best part about it was my dick still worked. Other things you can do to accelerate your leveling are the bonus objectives, like getting six executions or eight headshots in a wave. Ribbons are also great for racking up XP, especially the ones for consecutive kills. There are also easily obtained ribbons for planting grenades and executing the last enemy. So there you have it! A Christmas present from old Cyril! And yes, I said Christmas. If that offends you minorities out there, then I apologize. But to make up for it, when I come to your country, I'll respect your customs. <laughs>Get the whole problem with the word Christmas in the first place. It's not like replacing it with holiday or winter is gonna make anyone feel better when you're ramming Christmas trees and Santa Claus down their throats.